hello everybody and welcome to another top 10 video i say top 10 but these are in no particular order these are just the top tv deaths that i was the most upset about um coming in hot okay just kidding i'm gonna put them in order which means i'm gonna have to bounce around here these are not specific to sci-fi fantasy tv shows though i did mostly keep them there so we're gonna start at number 10 with Uncle Keith from One Tree Hill. Look, I know the show in itself is objectively bad, but it's one of my most rewatched shows. And when Uncle Keith dies, it's one of the most difficult and heartbreaking things to watch. Also because it's a school shooting episode, which makes it more personal and more emotional. Number nine. Georgie from Grey's Anatomy. I don't really feel like I need to explain this one. If you watch the show, then you know. Um, number eight. Jonathan Kent from Smallville, which is the V-Best Superman adaptation, and I will not be taking questions on that. I will die on this hill. Um, the death of Jonathan Kent served a lot of purposes for Clark, but it's also a well-written end to one of TV's all-time great father figures. What am I at? Seven? Joyce from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Another parent's death. Um, yet another Joss Whedon tragedy. Joyce's death was depressing for a lot of reasons. My mom died when I was little, so, like, the scene where she has to tell Dawn and Dawn just, like, crumples to the floor in her school hallway. I feel it. Um, the reactions of the other characters being the most volatile reason. Um, at this point in the show, they had just started giving Joyce her own voice and developing her character, and then he killed her off, so it was, like, very aggressive. Um, at number six... We have Wash from Firefly, Joss Whedon breaking my heart, an entirely different show, killing off another beloved character, Alan Tudyk, a highly underrated actor. Uh, we all know he's one of the best comedic actors, but the depth and range that man has made his death so hard to watch. Um, number five, Amy and Rory from Doctor Who. Now, lots of Doctor Who moments were depressing, but the reality that there is no way to know if Rory and Amy got sucked back to the same time before they died is still too upsetting to think about. Um, them damn angels. What am I at? I did ten one... Five. Number five. Oh, okay, yeah. Charlie from Supernatural, which you will also hear me talk about soon on the series, Is This Fridging? Yes. Spoiler alert. <laughs> well, this is heartbreaking for a lot of reasons. One, she was a fan favorite. Two, Felicia Day is perfect and amazing. Three, her death was definitely fridging. And killing her off and dumping her in, the, in a bathtub was so disrespectful to the character. It's still not okay. I'm still angsty about it. Uh, number... Three? Four? I'm really bad at this. Um, Theon! Game of Thrones! He went from someone I didn't like to someone I hated. Someone I loved, and I was very sad when he died. Now, let's be clear, his ties to Sansa I understand, but I still hate her. Um, he had such a beautiful character arc, and it's only one of the parts of season eight that wasn't complete garbage. Like, I, I was sad that he died... But I feel like the way they completed his story, at least, was well done. He was not one of the victims of character assassination, whereas season 8 had so many, uh, so many character assassination moments. Anyway, top two deaths. They're pretty tied for me, actually. Um, but number two, Tara, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This one will always hurt me. The way the scene happens with Tara noticing her blood on Willow's shirt before she dies, and it happens just after they get back together, is so, so heartbreaking. I personally loved their relationship, and the way it ended was beautifully written, but also completely devastating. And number one, also from Game of Thrones, the love of my life, Marjorie Tyrell. <laughs> one of my top three favorite TV characters of all time. Uh, she was beautiful, brilliant, and watching her die was so infuriating. 
My dad watched me fall in love with her and then sat there and watched me scream at the TV when she died. Also, Natalie Dormer. <laughs> mm. Any mm. Anyway, um those those are those are my top TV deaths and check out my other YouTube videos. Please subs like, subscribe, share, whatever. Uh, find us on Facebook at Fangirl Productions and Lady Comic Book History. Check out the Lady Comic Book History podcast. Find me on TikTok at Alexandria Sam's twenty seven thirteen, um, and leave any comments of things you want me to rank next. Uh, any questions, comments, question, uh, questions, comments, questions. All right, I'm doing great. Um, send them to Alexandria Sam's twenty seven thirteen at gmail dot com or Fangirl Productions thirteen at gmail dot com. Thanks, guys.